Before we even write any formulas, let's talk about the relativity of simultaneity, which is something completely new compared to classical mechanics. Now, classical mechanics, time is time. Whatever time you measure, I measure the same amount of time. So if an event happens, which is basically something happens somewhere at some time, let's say the bell rings at school, it doesn't make a difference whether you're sitting at your desk still or running through the door to go home. When the bell rings, the bell rings. The time, according to you, is the same time according to me. There's no difference. And there's no measurable difference anyway that we could have noticed to think that maybe these two events are not simultaneous. So in classical mechanics, the problem never arises, and time is time for everyone. In special relativity, though, that's no longer true. Because you can have two events that are going to be simultaneous in a given frame that are not in another frame. And that depends on the motion of the observer. So let's take a simple example here on the left, where this person, let's say you, stands in between two cameras, and you have a, a little remote control that will trigger both cameras, and they go off with a flash, and they go off at the same time. And you're exactly in the middle, and so to you, the events are simultaneous. The cameras flash at the same time in your frame. Now let's assume that we repeat this experiment, and we have another observer in a different frame that's flying over you in a jet. It's going pretty fast to the right, constant speed. And you make it so that at the moment that the observer is right above you, you trigger both cameras so that they go off with the flash, again to you, the two cameras go off at the same time, but then the tiny amount of time that it takes the light to travel from each camera, this observer is going to move forward a bit. And so what happens is that to this observer, light from the camera in front of him is going to reach him ever so slightly before the light from the camera behind him. And so to the observer in the jet, these two events are not simultaneous. Again, it's because of the motion of the observer. And in practice, it's never really observable, typically because light travels so fast. And so even if you are in a jet, you're not even close to the speed of light. So it's going to be very hard to detect a difference. But if you start studying objects or systems that can move at speeds that get close to the speed of light, well, then this becomes very noticeable. And so it's important to realize that Two events that are simultaneous to you are not necessarily simultaneous to another observer, depending on the motion of the observer. Thanks for watching this video. At Congress Academy, we create custom study guides so that you don't have to. Send us your syllabus and some old exams, and we'll put together lecture notes, practice problems with step by step solutions, and classic exam questions so that you don't waste your time. All you have to do is log in and focus on studying what matters most. And if you have questions, we're available to help. If you'd like to learn more about how Congress Academy can help you do well, check us out at congressacademy.com. We look forward to helping you. See you there.